Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and let's go for a story. Recently, one of my friends asked me if I've ever tried to use AI to help me in making videos or getting ideas or whatnot, and I said no, like, what, what would it do for me? I just, like, make random fighting game content, how would that be useful at all? Um, until, you know, uh, I was just writing some notes for a video I'm going to be making about all the terminology in Street Fighter for people who need it. And I use Notion, you know, to take down my notes. I like it. You can use it on all my devices. And I noticed when I was typing my notes that they recently had an update where they've got an automatic AI generator just if you press spacebar and you can ask AI to write anything. So I was like, oh, okay, let me just try it out. And um, so I didn't even have to go to any of the fancy famous ones like ChatGPT or anything. And I just asked, write me a video explaining all the important terminology used in Street Fighter VI. And it just automatically created this entire full <laughs> explanation for a lot of things in Street Fighter VI. Like combo, special moves, all these things really organized super neatly. And... Um, you know, there's cool and uncool parts about this being possible, and I'll save talking about that for some other video or time. But just when that happened, it kind of gave me the automatic human reaction of, oh no, these robots are stealing my job. And then I had to think, wow, now when I make videos and stuff, I have to make sure that it's really like, founded in human to human advice based on, on human experiences and really core to the the human uh, uh, human psyche and what it means to be human. So today we're going to be rating all of the characters of Street Fighter 6 based on how hot they are. And I have asked the same AI to rate the characters based on whatever its opinions are. But then I am going to give my opinion and prove it wrong and show that only humans are capable of objectifying other humans. What a high ground I stand on. So I did ask the Notion AI to give me its ranking of all the characters based on their hotness about five or six times just to check that it wasn't randomly generated or anything and it gave the same opinion every time. So take it away, Mr. AI Baronin, I guess. Here is the list of characters from the Street Fighter 6 game ranked according to their hotness. I will start from the bottom. Please note that this ranking is subjective and based solely on the writer's personal opinion. It is important to keep in mind that what one person finds attractive or appealing may not be the same for someone else. It is crucial to approach topics related to physical appearance and attractiveness with sensitivity and consider the potential impact of such discussions on others. While it's okay to express personal opinions and preferences, it's important to do so in a respectful or non harmful manner. Now let's start. In last place, number 17, we have JP. JP's youthful and playful appearance combined with his fashionable outfit earned him 17th place. In 16th place, we have Luke. Luke's handsome and charming appearance combined with his fashionable outfit earned him 16th place. In 15th place, we have E Honda. E Honda's rotund appearance <laughs> and unique outfit earned him 15th place. In 14th place, we have Dalism. Dalism's unique and mystical appearance combined with his distinctive outfit earned him 14th place. In 13th place, we have Blanca. Blanca's wild and untamed appearance combined with his distinctive outfit earned him 13th place. In 12th place, we have Zangief. Despite being a male character, Zangief's muscular build and rugged appearance earned him 12th place on this list. In 11th place, we have Guile. Guile's rugged and masculine appearance combined with his military outfit earned him 11th place. In 10th place, we have Ken. Ken's classic and athletic appearance combined with his iconic outfit earned him 10th place. In 9th place, we have Ryu. Ryu's rugged and masculine appearance combined with his iconic outfit earned him 9th place. In 8th place, we have Manu. 
Manon's youthful and playful appearance combined with her fashionable outfit earned her 8th place. In 7th place, we have Chun-Li. Chun-Li's classic and elegant appearance combined with her iconic outfit earned her 7th place. And in 6th place, we have Marissa. Marissa's bold and edgy appearance combined with her unique fashion sense earned her 6th place. In 5th place, we have Juri. Juri is ranked 5th place due to her unique and striking appearance, with features such as her piercing red eyes and provocative outfit. In 4th place, we have Gammy. Gammy's athletic and toned physique combined with her classic outfit earned her 4th place. In 3rd place, we have Lily. Mr. Alberonen has redacted what I have to say about Lily. In second place, we have Kimberly. Kimberly ranks second due to her classic beauty and elegant fashion. And that means that in first place, we have Jamie. Jamie takes first place due to her confident and alluring demeanor, as well as her distinctive hairstyle. Congratulations, Jamie. <clears throat> Jesus, that was hard on the voice. Right. So now that we've heard, well, now we have heard the opinion of Notion AI on the hotness of all the characters in Street Fighter VI. And I do wish to point out that although I asked it six times before making this video what its opinions were and it stayed the same every time, and afterwards I wrote my own below, like I changed the rankings to, so that I could say mine afterwards. And then right before I went to make this video, I asked it to do it again and then give reasons as to why, so that I could say more than just Jimberly Kami me carry, then, you know, so I have something else to say when I'm doing my horrific robot voice. And then, when it did it again, it copied my exact list, along with some of the reasoning that I wrote afterwards. So I don't know where, it, like, it, I saw it, I caught it red-handed using my own opinions and data right under my nose, in my own little page. It just took it. And then that makes me curious, where did this original list that it was using very definitively before I wrote my own? <laughs> where did it get this other opinion from? Because it has to be taken from somewhere. It can't generate it itself, I don't think. <laughs> has someone else written this really strange list somewhere else? Because I don't know, it's kind of questionable. And it is questionable and we're gonna talk about it now. So first place was Jamie, then Kimberly, Lily, Kami, Juri, Marissa, Chunli, Manon, Ryu, Ken, Guile, Zangief, Blanca, Dalazim, Ihonda, Luke, and JP. So uh, pretty obvious that uh, Notion AI is not really into its guys. It's all the ladies and then the men at the bottom, except for Jamie at the very top. But it also thought that Jamie was her with her distinctive hairstyle. I'm not really sure what was going on there. The Notion AI definitely seems to like its ladies. So we're definitely going to change that in our list. And some of the other... What, Luke? I don't mean to be loving Luke too much, but why is Luke in second last place? It, it's, it's, it's a questionable list, and we're going to fix it. But unlike Notion's list, this will be objective, the factual, and probably not done so in a respectful manner. That'll be hard. Okay, so now I am human Mr. Alberonen and giving my objective and definitive and correct opinions on how hot the characters in Street Fighter VI are. And in last place, I'm gonna put my boy Dalism, and I don't think he'll mind. You know, he's not exactly walking around with his ass out like the rest of the characters in the entire cast. Even JP, I promise, we'll get to him. But you know, Dalazim, he's cool. He's got his body paint. He's very stretchy. <laughs> I guess in this photo, he's got a lot of thigh, but I think he's a character we can safely put in last place and we won't hurt too many opinions. He's a cool guy, but he's fine with me not calling him a hot guy. <laughs> oh God, this is gonna be an awful video. <laughs> And then after Dalism, it gets a little hard because uh, I'm gonna hurt characters' opinions and other people's opinions. But uh, yeah, after Dalism in 16th place, I'm gonna put Ken. And for the same reason, you know, he doesn't seem like he's in his hot girl era. He's not in what is hot girl summer. He's just chilling. He's got his 
hasn't been to the haircut in quite a few weeks. He hasn't changed, bought a new coat in a while. He hasn't even done up his drawstring. Like, he's fine. He's not kind of trying to go for the, the sex appeal at the moment. So yeah, he's, he's 15th place. He's a cool guy. I'm sure a lot of people are attracted to him. But hey, we gotta put him at the bottom of the hotness tier list, I'm sorry. And now it really kind of gets hard because every character is like banging hot. And I say it gets, it gets hard, guys, it gets hard. And I think I'm gonna have to put 14th place as Guile, which is pretty rough for me because out of the original characters that were revealed, this guy's jumpsuit that he's wearing is perfect, man. Look, at, he's got a zipper across his thighs just to emphasize his thighs. He's got the cool guy military vibe. And I don't know if you've seen him turned around, but that jumpsuit is doing something for his derriere. And the new facial hair he's got going on, just every way he poses in every position, look how cool he looks. And, and I feel really bad saying this, but I, he's, he's hot. But now that we've breached the line of hot, unfortunately, he's in 14th position of hot. But it's still hot, Gal. I'm sorry, I don't wanna, don't hit me. You're very hot. And then another rough decision, another character that I, um, is all about the thighs and the ass and also the forearms, JP. You might be questioning, what the hell are you talking about, JP's ass and thighs? Well, have you seen this suit he's wearing? It is a fitting suit, and I don't know if any of these photos show him turned around, but this, 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 I'll find a picture. I'll find evidence. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm doing this to you. But just pay attention, like, you know, in this throw, when he turns around. I'm just saying, they're very fitting dress pants. And also when he goes for this grab projectile, case in point. Case and point. You can't argue with me anymore about this. And also, of course, this little braid down the side fits you perfectly, JP. <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyways, after that uncomfortable JP ass reveal, I'm still putting him in 13th place because there's some more goodness to come. Don't worry. In 12th place, I put E Honda because I feel like E-Honda doesn't get enough love and people put him down the bottom just by default with Dalism. But look at this man. Look at this man. He is chunky, he is big, he is happy, and he's a pro sumo wrestler. He's got the thighs, people love their thighs. He's got the man nips. He's got the man chesticles, whatever. <laughs> this, this is terrible. <laughs> He's a cool guy and he's hot. Have you seen him when he throws people out of the ring? Oh, also Guile ass reveal. Boom. He's a cool guy. His, his passion and his large body makes him an exceptional 12th place. Good job, E Honda. Now in 11th place, I'm actually gonna put Chun-Li, which might be a little bit controversial. Show, con controversial. Uh, wait, secret, come on, so stupid. Uh, anyway, yeah, Chun Li. I mean, in eleventh place, she's certainly an attractive lady, and I would love to put her in super high place. She certainly. I'm. I don't get me wrong. I certainly appreciate. She has the thighs. She has the jiggle physics that all the characters have, and she is a respectable, iconic fighting lady. But the new shoes that she's wearing, I don't know. Doesn't do it for me. I think she needs her boots back. But other than that, 11th is a pretty good position to be in when you consider how goddamn attractive the rest of this cast is. So good job, Chun-Li. And I hope Chun-Li lovers don't assassinate me in my sleep after putting her in 11th place. Oopsie. Now after Chun-Li, another pretty obvious pick is gonna be Cammy. Hee hee hee. Oh no. But I, I think so. She's obviously hot. Come on. She's got like the body of an hourglass. She's wearing these really cool techno sweatpants. She's, you know, f a super femme fatale, even more than she usually is. And I love her boots. I love her entire getup. Is awesome. And of course, every one of her kick buttons, especially her standing medium kick, has some supreme jiggle physics. Yeah, 
Of course. What else do I have to say? She's in 10th place. It's good, I promise. Don't hate me. And now for 9th place. Guess who it is? It's your boy Blanca. Now, this may, this may be even more questionable than some of my other rankings, but just hear me out. Have you looked closely at this guy recently? Have you taken the chance to appreciate that which is Blanca? He's a cool guy. Have you seen these overalls? These are designer overalls. They've even got a little imprint there. They reach the perfect amount down his thigh. He's got a little bit of thigh out. He's got the big arms. What more can you want in a man? He's got the specifically hairy chest with, and he's ginger. Come on. That's like top 10 most attractive traits in a human, but it's in this weird green ogre guy. So surely it still counts. Look at this, look at these overalls. That is a stylish ogre boy. And he even, he even accessorizes. I'm not trying to meme, he's got the, the Scooby-Doo, what's his name? Freddy, he's got the ascot. He's a stylish ogre muscly dude. And I'm sorry if you don't agree, but if you don't agree, you're wrong. And have you seen his gameplay? He's so much fun. He's having a blast. He's stylish. He's muscular. He's got his nips out. Come on. I really hate this video. <laughs> and then we're getting into the higher. This is like the top half. We have Marissa, the big, beautiful lady herself. I mean, is there much to say? She's giant. She's gorgeous. The design choices they've made are so striking but perfect like having helmet hair as as her helmet that is that is so cool and it looks so stupid when we first saw it i don't think anyone was like wow that is brilliant and amazing but now that i've seen it in action god she's so cool she's so cool she's got like the most definition in her muscles of like most of the character in the games she is ripped she's giant the helmet hair and the the braces, whatever you, you call the punching gloves, um, you know, like the knee, everything's perfect. And this kind of um, Spartan kind of kilt thing is amazing. She's stunning. She's everything. We love Marissa. She's got a gold chain too. Come on. She's the best. And I know a lot of people want her to wallop them and I'm not going to judge them. So I'm gonna put Marissa in eighth place, which is a solid top half of the cast. And then in seventh place, we have the main man himself, not Ryu, but Luke. Luke is, um, he's uh, exactly what you would see if you open YouTube with a new account and you go into the trending page or the shorts page. He's the kind of person that pops up. He's kind of the exact, like, iconic person that I would have liked or that I would have thought was really cool when I was 10 years old. Like, blue and orange color scheme, wearing a hoodie, and he, he fights, and he says, No way, man! He's, he's got that, um, very, very generic level of attractiveness, but hey, it's attractiveness uh, either way. And I know a lot of people are into Luke, and it makes sense. Maybe it's because he's got his little footsies out. Maybe it's because he's, he's got better hair graphics in this game. Maybe it's because his shirt goes down really low. But whatever it is, it's undeniable. But hey, he's just a pretty hot guy. I'm sorry. And then in number six place, we have the actual other main man himself. Ryu, who some people may not agree, but his Street Fighter 6 look is an absolute glow up. His previous iterations, yeah, okay, it's iconic. He wears his martial arts gi thing, but like, okay, cool. You look like literally any other main anime character that's the cool honor buff guy. Now he's even cooler. Come on, look at this. Look at this facial hair he's got going on with the mustache. He's more mature. You can tell that he's ripped by this one peck that he's constantly showing. He's got this awesome, like, sash situation going on. He just looks way more Ryu than classic Ryu does. And I don't know if that makes sense, but it does make sense. 
He's now cooler, more rugged, but still like badass and like martial artsy. Oh, also his shoes are so good. These like sandals with the like up the leg weaving. It's awesome. This design is awesome. And you know, like every male character in the game, he's built great. He's a hot guy. And in number fifth place, we have Manon, a newcomer who has taken the world by storm, mainly um, um, due to this ranking. She is a very, very hot, very attractive fashionista lady. And, uh, you know, as soon as she came out, a lot of people's feeds were full of those zoom in clips and slowed down clips of her reveal trailer. And although I am in no, I have no high ground to criticize objecti objectification as I am currently making this video, it's a little strange. It's a little strange there's so many of those. You don't need to slow it down that much. You can just appreciate her. She's a big grappler lady and she's also amazingly tall and fashionable. But I mean, also, yeah, I see it like, she is dressed perfectly to accentuate everything that is gorgeous about her. Come on. She's wearing this like kind of dancer's leotard with this cool kind of martial artsy half off the shoulder gi situation. Black belt too, huh? And she's got the like the cutout on the side of her upper thigh. And you know, it's very skin tight and it is just absolutely gorgeous, absolutely hot. She's perfect. Also this hairstyle, so unique, but so perfect. And the way she like does all of her kicks and everything, so elegant, so, oh, and this, come on. If this was her design, she would be almost all the way up into second place. But this design is also amazing, but this one is just stunning. I hope we actually get it as an alternate skin. So yeah, Manon, you can definitely dance away with your fifth place. Congratulations. And then in fourth place, Possibly my favorite, but I don't want to be too biased. Zangief. Come on. We all watched the reveal trailer, right? Didn't we? We all watched them reveal this exceptional character model for a classic character. And now he somehow, somehow looks even more Zangief than he's ever Zangiefed before. One of the main changes is that he's put on pants now, but don't, don't be mistaken. Him having a little bit of extra fabric on his legs does not take away from the new jig jiggle physics mechanics and systems in this game. Especially, I'm sure you... Actually, I'll show it after this. But come on, this man with his... Oopsie. These boots that he's wearing, he's got the chest hair, he's got the mailed Street Fighter 6 build, he's got these awesome, like, um, strongman tight pants, Come on, are you kidding me? If anyone says that I'm I'm crazy or a perv for saying this, you're wrong. Zangief is hot, shut up. And let me show you something that'll change your mind. So I present to you this video called Zangief Jiggle Physics. I'm just saying, there's a, there's a lot that shakes on this man whenever he does anything. There's a lot shaking. There's a lot shaking! They did not implement jiggle physics just for Kami and Chun-Li. Let me tell ya. And now it gets even more slower and zoomed in. <laughs> hey, if the Kami players are gonna do it, let the Zangief players do it as well. That's what I say. And then in third place, I think I have to put another newcomer, Kimberly. She is just perfectly put together with her, like everything about her design. I kind of feel, feel, I don't, I don't know how I feel about calling people hot anymore. It's, it's been, it's, this is going on for too long for this video to end. But Kimberly, come on, great design, great design. Look at her hair. She's got this extremely long hair, kind of in these twists or braids or something. And she's got them dyed bright blue at the end. She's wearing this, like everything piece of clothing that she's wearing 
is perfection. The little head tie that she's wearing with the bow on the top, this kind of crop top jumper jacket situation that's kind of a crossover and it's got some more bows on it. And she knows how to accessorize her legs perfectly. Like with the awesome bright red and blue Converse shoes and then the kind of um, ballet tied up the leg fabric, which comes back in into her upper thighs. She knows how to accessorize legs. Like, that, people need to take notes. Zangief is not the only one. It's kind of like corset style on the upper thigh. Come on, on the upper thigh. She is it, an innovation of thigh accessory. And I think she needs to be respected more for it. So good job, Kimberly. You've got great hair, great fashion, and great thigh accessories. And for that, you get third place in my books. Okay, and luckily, we're getting close to the end. And in second place, I kind of have to agree with um, the AI, unfortunately, here. And I'm gonna put Jamie in almost the exact same spot that they did. <laughs> Come on, look at this guy. He's got a very similar vibe going on that makes him really hot as Kimberly does. Like he's got an exceptional hairstyle, extremely long hair with shaved sides in this long plait and sometimes sometimes it comes out and whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got this another like crop top jacket just like Kimberly does. And sometimes, you know, in his um, idle stance, or not his idle stances, but as the game moves on, it unzips a little bit. And when it unzips, you notice, you notice that, whoa, you can see a little bit more of this guy. And although he's certainly got the uh, Street Fighter VI male build, it's a little bit less so than the other characters. He's certainly got his his six pack abs and uh, everything, but he's a little less um, gargantuous, like Luke's forearms compared to his. At least he's a little bit more reasonable to be like, wow, damn, he's so hot. Instead of saying, wow, Luke's forearms are so hot. Jamie's just perfect. Look at this hair. Look at his hair, the shaved sides to die for. This jacket that he slowly undoes that is kind of similar to Kimberly's to die for. He's wearing awesome shoes. He's even showing us some calves. Come on, he's showing everything you could want out of a gorgeous drunken master like himself. So yeah, he takes his rightful place as first position for the male cast. And then for actual first place out of everyone, I think it's pretty obvious who I'm putting in first place. And no, it is not just because of her theme song. It's Jury. This design is phenomenal. I don't want to be a jury, uh, uh, you know, lumped in with the rest of the jury sims. So I'm going to respectfully inform you on what is amazing about this design for Jury. And I'm saying this as someone who actually was previously not a fan of any of Jury's design. So I'm purely, pu purely a Street Fighter VI fan of Jury. So, wow, that is a first screenshot. Um, I don't know, what do we say? The hair, amazing. She's got this like awesome set of bangs with the long framing ones and the kind of like elastic thick bands that are holding her hair up look amazing. And obviously one of the most striking parts of her design is these goddamn pants. She's a very leg focused character. A lot of people love her having her heels and her toes out. That's for sure. These pants are probably my favorite part about her. Where have you seen pants like this ever before? They're, they're these like black baggy pants with zips on the inside so that I don't think there's any pictures of her standing straight, but just when she's standing and looking normal, these are the most awesome looking pants for a Taekwondo leg style fighter I have ever seen. And I, yeah, honestly, the pants are probably more attractive than she is. These pants are hot. These are sexy pants and I'm jealous. I want some of them. If anyone knows where she got them, let me know. But yeah, combined, she's also got this kind of uh, crop top situation, but it's like a, a hollowed out crop top that somehow goes up on the inside combined with her like spider print tattoos. And she's got, you know, these blue spikes on her everywhere. It's, it's, she's a phenomenal, she's phenomenal. She's phenomenal. She's amazing. And then in game with her like, 
characterization in game as well. Like when she gets thrown, she's like, no way. And the way she kicks people and like picks them up at their feet and kicks them again. She's stunning. She gets first place and I don't even need to argue the position because I know you agree with me. So, um, yes. Thankfully, this video is over. And the longer it went, the more I questioned my decision making in deciding to make this. And, um, you know, to validate myself, I think I will say my reasoning was that it was a video trying to show that AI cannot take my job. I can make videos that are more questionable than AI ever could. And I can regret things more than an AI ever could. And I think that's an important part of the human experience. So I'm glad that was emphasized in this, uh, in this video today. So I'm going to end this very quickly. So I guess I, but I sh should do a little bit of a send off. Um, let me know who you think is a trap. Oh God, I really want to end this video. Who do you think's hot, bro? Who's hot in this game? Oh, I just noticed. DJ wasn't in any of the lists. Why wasn't DJ in the list? The AI didn't even include him. I intentionally didn't include Lily, because come on, of course. But DJ wasn't included in anything. Okay, let me put DJ. Um, he's a solid, he's a solid, uh, I think he's a solid sixth or seventh place. He knows exactly how to show off what he's got. He's got the big pecs. He's got these awesome sweatpants that at certain angles really show off his thighs and his behind. And he, he's a happy guy. He's got great golden accessories. He's got freaking golden sandals, golden headphones. Come on. He's a hot man. I'll put him in sixth place. Sorry for, get, for forgetting you, bro, but I'm going to blame it on the AI. How dare the AI leave out an icon such as himself. Anyways, please let me end this video. <laughs> let me know who you think is hot, I suppose. But also you don't have to, because I know that's kind of weird, even though I just made a whole video and you watched a whole video about how hot characters are. Ew. You're weird. Thanks for watching though. Goodbye. Jesus Christ, I need to end this. Bye bye. <laughs>